for this lesson, I do not have a full transcription of it, but I have put an outline of it within the usual spot where I put the transcription. That will be far easier for you to follow. The title, the attitudes that prevent us from knowing Christ. Jesus was in the temple. It was close to the feast of the dedication. During that time, the Jews too gathered round him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. They would make one lose patience. But quite simply, Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. They continued to ask, But is it you? Is it you? Yes, I said so, but you do not believe. But you do not believe because you do not believe belong to my flock. And this perhaps raises a doubt. I believe and I belong to Jesus' sheep. But if Jesus says to us, you cannot believe because you do not belong. Is there a faith prior to the encounter with Jesus? What is this belonging to Jesus' faith? What is that stops me at the door, which is Jesus? There are attitudes prior to professing faith to Jesus. For us too, who are in Jesus' flock, they are like prior aversions that do not allow us to go forward in knowledge of the Lord. The first of these is wealth. Many of us too, who have entered through the door of the Lord, stop and do not go forward because we are imprisoned in wealth. The Lord is harsh, always about wealth, and he was very, very, very harsh to the wealthy, to the point of saying that it was easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is harsh, but wealth is an obstacle to moving forward. But must we fall into poverty? No. But do not be a slave to wealth. Do not live for wealth, because wealth becomes your Lord. It becomes your God. It becomes what you live for. And as we know, you cannot serve two masters. Wealth stops you. Another thing that prevents moving forward in the knowledge of Christ is belonging to Jesus, is rigidity, rigid, rigidity of heart, also rigidity in the interpretation of the law. Jesus rebuked the Pharisees, the doctors of the law, for this rigidity. It is not faithfulness. Faithfulness is always a gift to God. Rigidity is a security for me. I remember a time when I was entering a parish and a good lady came up to me and said, I, I was wondering, last week on Saturday, not yesterday, but last Saturday, we went to a family wedding and it was with a mass. And we had communion with the Mass, but it was Saturday afternoon. And we thought that the Mass had fulfilled Sunday's requirement. But then upon returning home, I saw that the readings for that Mass were not those for Sunday. So I realized that I was in mortal sin. So what was I to do? I had to go to Mass Sunday then. 
And I stopped. And I thought, what rigidity this woman lives in. This woman lives in such rigidity. She cannot see Christ for that rigidity. It distances us from the wisdom of Jesus, from the wisdom and beauty of Jesus. It takes away your freedom. And so many pastors of so many churches cause this rigidity to grow in the souls of the faithful. And this rigidity does not help us enter through the door of Jesus, observing the law as it is written, or as I interpret it is more important than the freedom of moving forward following Christ. Another thing that does not allow us to move forward in the knowledge of Jesus is sloth. That weariness. Let us think of the man at the pool. Thirty plus years there. Sloth. It takes away our will to move forward. And everything is yes, but no, not now. Maybe later. Which leads you to a cozy and makes you tepid. Sloth is another thing that prevents us from moving forward. Another which is rather ugly is a clericalist attitude. Clericalism is put in Jesus' place. He says, no, this must be like this, like this, and like this. They are perfectionists. But the teacher said, Leave the teacher be. This is like this, and then like this, and then like this. And if you do not like this, like this, like this, you cannot enter. Clericalism takes away the freedom of believers. This is an ugly disease in every church in which it happens. The clericalist attitude. Then another thing that prevents us from going forward, from entering to know Jesus and profess Christ, is the worldly spirit. When the observance of faith, the practice of faith, ends up in worldliness, and everything is mundane. Let us consider the celebration of a few sacraments in some parishes how much worldliness there is. And one does not really understand the grace of Christ's presence. These are the things that prevent us from belonging to Jesus' sheep. We are sheep in pursuit of all these things, wealth, rigidity, sloth, clericalism, worldliness, methods, ideologies, forms of life. Freedom is lacking in all of them. You cannot follow Jesus without freedom. But sometimes freedom goes beyond and one slips. Yes, it's true. We can slip while moving forward. But it is worse to slip before moving forward. Well, these things that prevent us from beginning to move at all. May the Lord enlighten us to see within us that there is freedom to pass through the door, which is Christ and to go beyond Jesus the Christ in order to become part of his flock, to become 
a member of the sheep of his flock.